Psalms 68 and 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord Yahweh is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Call Halal Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakah Kurash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Brad Millstone, who rule well and teach well. So I tell you, rest your brothers, pushing this truth from sincerity, risk your life, do so in spirit, by Yah, by Shemel Shai. Shalom. All right. This is Brother Kawan from Great Millstone, Dallas Camp, coming at you another lesson today. All right. Now, it's just, this is going to be a land back, you know, off that lesson that I did two days ago titled, uh, The, the Destroyer is on His Way, man. Okay. And if you watch that lesson and you understand it, you understood that lesson, okay, you would, uh, you, you would ask yourself the question then, you know, okay, uh, you say the Lord is coming with all this, you know, all this anger and fierceness and death, man, all right, so is that all he going to come with, you know, is that, is, is he not going to save anybody, you know, that's the question you should be asking, you know, and the question is, you know, no, he's not just only coming, you know, with his with indignation, and, you know, and, and death. All right. Like I mentioned in within the lesson, you know, the Lord is gonna save the elect of the nation Israel. Now, me being a man, you know, I don't know how many, you know, that is out of the nation. The Lord gave us only, you know, fractions. You know, He only gave us one third of who would be saved out of the nation Israel. And told us two thirds would die of the nation of Israel, alluding to Zechariah 13 and 8, man. So no, I you know that 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 question cannot be answered, you know, on how many of a number it's gonna be. Just know it's gonna be a a, a decent amount that's gonna be saved out of the nation of Israel. Notice how I'm saying the nation of Israel and not the whole world, because through the philosophy of what the self-proclaimed white man has pushed throughout the earth which is the Edomite, it's the Esau Edom of the Bible, which is, which is you know, the devil that the Bible speaks of, okay? The philosophy that he's pushed out through the whole world is that any and everyone can be saved, man. But that's not true. That couldn't be farther from the truth, all right? Yahweh Bashim Shai, who you call God of Jesus Christ, does not love everybody, man. That's a false you know, fable, man. It's a lie. So, that being said, the reason why I read this Psalm 16 and 17 is because that's how, you know, the one third of the nation of Israel, you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, along with you scattered seed Israelites that look like the heathen nations, all right, on the outside, but are Israelites on the inside, all right? This is how, the way that you're going to be saved. You're going to be the saved by the Lord's chariots. When Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to send out his chariots around the whole world, and they're going to beam up his elect. And that's how we're going to be saved. But before all that happens, you know, there's, there's, a, there's certain events that have to take place before the coming, the, the coming of Yahweh Shah. All right, before the appearance of Yahweh Shah comes, in a glorious and powerful like manner that he's going to come in. Certain things have to take place on the earth. Certain plagues have to take place on the earth. And they will take place on the earth. Such as, you know, uh, the RFID microchip. Which is just talked about in Revelation 13, chapter 15 on down, man. Alright? That has to take that has to take place. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. That has to be, you know, initiated throughout the uh, a very good percentage throughout the whole world before the Lord comes. World War Three has to take place before the for the Lord comes. All right, and uh, the and, and with the World War Three is going to take place within uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man, which is really just the whole Levant region, man. That whole Middle Eastern region is going is is the Valley of Jehoshaphat because that's where World War Three is going to take place, man. World War Three is going to be fought to be the uh, so these nations can figure out who's going to be the next ruler of the earth, man. <clears throat> Ultimately, excuse me, Yahweh Shimei got all these nations in a trick bag, man. Because 
they're not no no mortal man on the earth, you know, is finna rule in the next kingdom to come. As the scripture says, you know, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And uh Esau Edom being a self-proclaimed white man, he's currently ruling the whole world. Alright? So Jacob, which is the forefather of the Israelites, that means okay, that Jacob is next to rule. Israel, the nation of Israel, is next to rule the next kingdom to come. And it's written in the scriptures that our kingdom is never going to fall, man. Because, hey, Yahweh Shai himself is going to be ruling over that whole kingdom, you know, along with his father, Yahweh. You know, of course, Yahweh is going to stay in the heavens, you know. He's not coming down here, of course, you know. But either way, nevertheless, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to be ruling that kingdom, man. And that kingdom is never going to fall. All right, the Lord is gonna make his his people perfect in his ways. So, with all that being said, let's hop right into this lesson. This is Zephaniah three and eight, because in that in the in the uh, in that lesson that I that I mentioned earlier, I, I read Joel third chapter, and it talked about the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And this is where, like I said earlier, this is where the Lord will have World War III take place. All right. And this, the Lord has been doing this for some time now, you know, with these with these nations, gathering them together all over there in the Middle East. And they're all the right now, all the pretty much all the nations of the world that have nuclear capabilities are already over there, you know, in the Middle Eastern area. But way, well, but when when all is said and done. When it's the will of the Heavenly Father, man, you know, he's going to have them act on one another, man. He's going to have them fight amongst one another. And it's all in due time. It's all in the time of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right? We on the Heavenly Father's time, not our time. This is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. All right, so that's the Lord is talking to his elect, man, on that first sentence of this verse. He said, wait ye upon me. The Lord is telling us not to, you know, not to be, uh, not not to be so quick, you know, to to try to come up against Esau, Edom, and your oppressors, man, because you're not going to win that battle. Because there's certain, it's like groups out here that's, you know, that's in that spirit. And that's, that's wicked, man. You going against what your Ha'abashim Ha'ashah told you to do. Lord said, wait ye upon me until I rise up to the prey. Wait ye upon me until I come and deliver you up out of this place, man. Okay? The Lord said in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, hey, man, no, no man shall, re, uh, shall buy you. That's that word, buy goes and redeem, man. That means that no man is going, no no nation of people is going to get you out of your, your current captivity, man. Not, not yourself and not no other nation. All right? So wait ye upon me until I come and deliver you up out of this situation that you're in, man. Stay your hand, okay? For my determination is to gather the nations. Where's the Lord going to gather the nations? He's going to gather the nations in that valley of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat which is uh, Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment, man, okay? Where he's going to judge all the heathen nations round about. And he's going to put them to death, man. Uh, according to Second Edges 13 chapter, that multitude that came up against Yahweh Shai, man, is that that army, that multitude of nations that was in the valley of Jehoshaphat to try to fight against the Lord, and the Lord is gonna utterly put them to death. All right, just that simple. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, my righteous anger, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the with the fire of my jealousy. Now that's going into nuclear missiles, man. Along with the chariots, you know, you know, shooting those that concentrate heat out of them, man. Which the chariots of Israel are the so-called UFOs that the, that, that the uh, self-proclaimed white man has labeled, man, and that he has blasphemed the heavenly host by saying that nonsense, man. By saying that those are uh, ugly-ass aliens. Within those ships, and that couldn't be further, further, further from the truth, man. Those are angels that you that you people see, and that you blaspheme with your lips, man. All right. 
but surely those triggers are nothing to mock at. What's that, uh, what's that, uh, it's like maybe Zechariah 5th chapter, man. This is the curse that go forth over the whole earth, man. All right? Either the chairs of the Lord are nothing to mock at. They, those, hey, those chairs will put you to death in an instant, man. Just like that. Let's get my next precept. This is, um, it's like yeah, Ezekiel 38. Because the ones that's going to be leading this fight in the World War III against America is going to be, uh, you know, as they say, Mother Russia, man. All right. The Lord is going to return Russia to that old, that old Soviet Union spirit. All right. This is Ezekiel 38 and 8. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and the prince and prophesy against him. All right. It said against Gog, the land of Gog in the land of Magog. Right now, that's that's the that's the land of Russia. All right. That's where the that's where the Japhites used to used to uh, rule rule in, man. Which the Japhites are uh, whom you would call Samoans, <laughs> but they was pushed out of that land by Esau, Edom, man. Okay. And now that's that's the land where Edom dwells at. And say, this saith Lord, our power. Behold, I am against thee, O God, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So the Lord is saying, okay, even though I'm, I'm finna use you, you know, to, to destroy this place, Babylon, you know, which is America, that don't mean that I'm with you. Why is that? Because like I said earlier, like I just said, man, those that rule in the land of, of, of Russia are also Edomites, as you can obviously see. You know, those are quote unquote white people, man. Those are Edomites. Okay. And the word Russia is it means red. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. I will return you back to that old Soviet Union spirit that you used to be in. And a quick history lesson on that. When those Japhites used to rule over there in that land as well, they was they were warriors, man. Okay? They were warriors. So they was they they was very skilled warriors in that in that land of Gog and Magog. Those Japhetic Jeph people, which are the Samoans. And you can see that in their spirit today. That they still have that that that, that spirit of, of fighting and being warriors. Alright. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Now you would say, see, that's talking about way back then, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, man. You know, of course the Lord is going to use, you know, old ways of speaking, man. This is a, this is thousands of years old right here, man. This is the book of Ezekiel. He didn't know what the hell a helicopter was or a tank <laughs> or any S-600s or uh, guns. You know, the prophets seen these things in this time, but they didn't know what the hell they was looking at, okay? He, he knows what, a, they knew what the hell an army looked like. They knew what, what killing instruments looked like. That's why they called it the sword. The modern day sword is the gun, man. The sword is just any killing instrument. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shields and, and helmets. So Russia is going to be leading the charge, man. With these other nations behind them. Gomor and all his bands. The house of Togomar and of the north quarters and all his bands. And many people with thee. Be thou prepared and pre prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. Hey, that said, hey, all them in thy company, man. That's talking about Russia and the other nations. Assemble yourselves, man. Get ready for war. Be thou a guard unto them. Russia be a guard unto the other nations, man. Because the other, hey, because Russia is is larger than the other nations. 
Russia has more nuclear capabilities than the other nations. Russia has more military might than these other uh, smaller nations, man. Okay. After the many days. All right, there, that was pretty much it. On that account. So like I was saying, yeah, Russia has more military might than these other smaller nations, man. So these other smaller nations are going to fall right in behind Russia. You know, they're receiving benefits from Russia too. Okay. You know, it's been trading amongst Russia and these other smaller nations so they could, you know, band together ultimately to fight this third world war. Okay. Russia is, is looking to rule the next kingdom to come. The next system. And he has all these others, other nations such as these, such as China, Libya, and Syria, and Turkey right, right in behind them, man. The only other, the only country he, Russia really don't got behind them is Israel, and Israel is the nation that that's gonna lead America into this third world war. This is a uh, Jeremiah, because it's gonna be it's 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 many reasons why this is all taking place. Ultimately, it's for the will of the Yahweh Shemuel Shah to go for, and for his nation to be set up. Uh, above all the people on the earth but we're gonna get further into the into that man this is jeremiah oh salakia 14. this is jeremiah 49 and 14. um i'm gonna start at 13. for i have sworn by myself said the lord yahweh by shimhal shai that basra a chief place in edom so he's talking about the Edomites shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. <laughs> What's the chief place that that you know the, the chief place and the most powerful place that Esau Edom dwells in today? America. So this is what this is talking about. I have heard a rumor from the Lord. An ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. Hey, he say that goes going back to hey, it's going to that Ezekiel 38, man. The Lord is telling them to get ready for war and get ready for battle. And that's what they was doing in Ezekiel 38, man. Gog and Magog, and which is slash Russia, was getting together ready for war, man. For lo. I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. The terribleness have deceived thee, the pride of thine heart. O thou that dwellest in the cliffs to the rocks. It's talking about Esau, Edom, man. That's why you got that put that name on themselves, which I, hey, I couldn't understand why you would want to keep a name like that on yourself, man. Yeah, which is, today, as people know, they call themselves Caucasians as well, man. Which the word Caucasian goes back to cave dweller. There's for sure proof that Esau Edom is a self-proclaimed white people, man. <laughs> That's another proof within itself. Thou that holdest the height of the hill, thou though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, there's satellites, you know, that technology that they have, you know, floating amongst the skies, man. I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord Yahweh. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. So when those nukes start to hit on out over here in the land of America, they gonna hiss and add all the plagues thereof. Okay? This place is gonna be through. And we gonna get that later on and now you know at the end of the lesson, you know, why these other nations is gonna be hissing at the destruction of America. Let's continue. As in the as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. All right, so this never happened in the land of ancient Edom, okay? Which is the which is su su southern southern of the of the uh, the land of Israel, man. That Edom was never hit well with hellfire or nuclear missiles, man. First of all, nuclear missiles wasn't invented back then, of course. 
But you how about Shimei how Shah never sent hellfire on Edom back then, man. So it's, it can't be talking about, you know, back then. Because if, if the Lord did, it'd be documented within the scriptures. But he never did that in ancient Edom. So it has to be talking about now. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her, and who is a chosen man, that I may appoint over her for whom for who is like me, and who will appoint me the time? Who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that hath taken against Edom and his purposes that he hath pur purposed against the habitation of Teman. Should the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock is talked about the uh, the Jews, those false, the, those fake ass Jews over there. All right, in the land of Israel, man. All right, they're gonna draw America out in this third world war. Okay. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So with the nation of Israel having America back them in this third world war, they're going to be fighting against the, the, the whole world, man. And America and, and, and uh, Israel can't fight against the, these other nations that also have nuclear nuclear capa uh, capabilities, all right? That's too, that's too much for America and Israel together. They're going to get destroyed. Thus said the Lord. This place is wicked, man. And it has pushed wickedness on the whole earth. Let's get that. This is Jeremiah. It's 51 and 8. This is, this is Babylon, a.k.a. America. Babylon is suddenly fallen. Oh, it's like you. Let's read up. This is Babylon 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. All right. The nations have drunken of her wine. Mystery Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, man, which is America. Because if you have ancient Babylon, if you have the daughter, daughter of Babylon, Mystery Babylon, which is America, man. America has pushed out his, its philosophies on the whole world. That's what it means by wine. It made all the earth drunken, all the nations drunken in, in, their, in her wine. All right? All these false-ass philosophies and this and that, and all these, uh, these laws that he has put in, in these other nations, all these embassies, you know, pushing his way of being on, on the other nations. He has destroyed their economies, man. He has destroyed the, their people's minds. And the earth is in the lowest estate, mentally and physically, that it's ever been in in, the, in any time in history, man. So America has a recompense for that. You just can't go around the earth and do what the hell ever you want to do, man. You can't do what you want to something that's not, to something that doesn't belong to you, man. And that's a, that's a principle, Okay. If the earth don't belong to Esau, Edom, man. This earth belongs to Yahabashim and Shah. So it's a certain way, along with all the people in it, man. Okay, all creation belongs to Yahabashim and Shah. And it's a certain way that you need to treat the creation of the Heavenly Father, man. And Esau, Edom has not treated the creation of the Heavenly Father well at all, man. So you, it, you will be recompensed for that. Point blank, period. Let's jump to 50 real quick. And this is uh, Jeremiah 50, starting at 11. Because you are glad, because you rejoice, or you destroy my inheritance, because you have grown fat as the heifer as, as grass and bellow as bulls. So you destroy my inheritance, of my heritage. What's the Lord talking about his heritage? What is he talking about? He's talking about the nation of Israel, man, along with the rest of the world. Okay, he has destroyed everything and everybody in it, and he's gonna. And as long as as long as Esau Edom continues to dwell in in in, in his high place, man, he's gonna continue to destroy the world and the people in it mentally and physically, man. All right, 
He's destroying the people, the earth, the animals. All right, everything is going to shit under this man's rulership. So it has to be changed, man. He has to be put out of the earth. He has to be put in chains and then put out of the earth, man. Okay, that's the only way that it that the earth is gonna flourish, man. So it has to come to pass. It will come to pass. And how about you? How shall will do all all their will, man? So it's nothing that any or anybody else can say against these scriptures, because whether you like it or not, this will come to pass. This is twelve. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. It's talking about Britain, man. Back in 1776, when America broke free from the control of Britain, man. Okay, this place has went down, 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 down the toilet. You know, the, the wicked Halisa Esau are not profiting, you know, too much from Babylon anymore. This place is, this place is trillions of dollars in debt, man. They're losing money, not making money. So when it comes to corporations, you know, in business, what do you do when something isn't making money? And when it's when it's costing you money instead of making you money, you cut it off. All right? Or you change it up. So that's what they plan on doing. That's what the elites of Esau plan on doing with this RFID micro trip. They're bringing in a new system. That way, everything can flow in their, in their way and in their order. All right? But what does it say in Job, man? In the fullness of their sufficiency, shall they be in straits, man? So, you how about Shemiah Shah is going to stop all their plans? That's why when they, bellies, when they bellies is full, the Lord is going to come down and, and strike them through, man. When they, uh, when, they, when, they, when they think they accomplished something, hey, the Lord is going to come right in behind them and knock them off their off they throne. All right? Thus saith the Lord. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. And how is it going to be desolate? It's going to be desolate by the way of nuclear fire, man. Okay? This place will be hit with 200 billion missiles from these other nations. Let's get it. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array. Put yourselves in array, man. Get your, get your, point your, point your uh, swords at Babylon, man. When I say swords, I mean any killing instrument. And with that killing instrument, I mean those missiles. All right. Put yourselves together. Aim at her. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow. That bow is talking about those silos, man. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. Those arrows are nuclear missiles. It makes sense, don't it? makes sense to me you know you can't tell me the lord is talking about you can't be simple when it comes to these scriptures man okay of course the lord is not talking about our actual you know army of men at, at this point you know gathering together in their own nation pointing actual bow and arrows at the sky and hoping that those bow and arrows reached the land of america come on man you can't be simple bro the Lord is talking about nuclear missiles, man. That bow is those silos, and the arrows are the nuclear missiles that come out of those silos, man. Okay? It's just that simple. Here it is, the creation of all. <laughs> Here it is, the creation of, of, of the earth is in the scriptures. But people can't believe that, you know, nuclear missiles are in the scriptures. That just goes into how scared they really are. Of the heavenly father and the son and you should be you should be frightened of the lord hey the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom as the scripture say man so you should fear the heavenly father and the son you should respect the heavenly father and the son man and, it, and it's going to be like that really soon the names of you how about shim house is going to be in the earth real soon forever and forever more from that point man for she has sinned against the lord she has sinned against the Lord. All these ways of being over here in Babylon, man. 
all these philosophies that's pushed in this land, man. Say, man, I, I, we, I live in Babylon, and I can't go to the damn store without seeing some type of freak, man. That's a, hey, that's the vex, that's a vexation of lot right there. For an example, man. That's the type of shit, man. That's in Babylon the Great. So this, this place, this off that one example, out of many, without number, has to. This place has to fucking go, man. And I'm not excusing my French, man. If you don't like it, fuck off my channel, man. I'm honestly, hey, we we are honestly sick of this place, bro. And we want this place out of here yesterday. But it's all through the dispensation of time, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy How Shot gonna get the little brother out of this place when he's good and ready? And we just have to be patient, brothers, and continue to have faith in the Lord. Let's get my next precept. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior, see, when I was saying, so I can. Now, the Lord is not talking about in uh, Jeremiah 50, 50th chapter that he's not talking about old, you know, wars, how they would fall back then. Obviously not, because wars ain't fall like that now, man. You, we, they don't get shields and actual swords no more and fight. Hell, you saw I press a button on your ass real quick to send a drone out and blow you up. All right? <laughs> so the Lord is talking about new ways of, of fighting within wars, man. So let's read. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Okay, that's how you that's how wars used to be fought. But let's see how this next war and wars hereafter in the future is gonna be fought. This is how World War II one, one and three will be fought. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Now this is mainly World War Three, but you know in World War One, of course, they had napalm strikes, missile strikes, and things like that. Okay, but in World War Three, hey, it's gonna be burning with fuel of fire, for real. You know, at a at at a at a very high point, man, to the max. And that, they said, I believe the uh, they said uh, one nuclear missile is like ten billion tons of TNT going off at one time, man. In the radius, it's like 20 to 30 miles. I believe that's the largest one. I could be wrong, you know. You know, don't you know, don't quote me on it. But that's a that's a very large radius, man, for a fucking missile to go off and blow away everybody in the in, two, in a 20 to 40 mile radius. Man. That's a large piece of land knocked off the face of the earth out of one missile. And that's the inner nation of the Lord, man. But there's no fear of the Heavenly Father and the Son in this place, man. It's a reason for that because, you know, like I said earlier, the philosophies that Esau Edom has pushed in the earth. So that Jesus Christ nigga, of course, you know, you know, hey, you know what that nigga all about. Of course you're not going to fear, man. But when you hear the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, the God of all creation, when you when you finally understand their ways, man, according to the scriptures, then you gonna understand, man, that you out to fear the Lord instead of just playing with the Lord all damn day like you people do, especially uh, you two third of Israelites, man. Y'all better quit. Hey, I'm speaking to all Israel, man. You better quit fucking playing with the Lord, man, before he off you, bro. And I'm also speaking to myself as well, you know. Lord is a hey, the Lord ain't playing with no fucking body, man. Lord ain't never played with Israel. He never gonna play with Israel, man. You know? That's how the Lord has always been, and that's how the Lord is always gonna be. So let's get the precept that I want to get out of Isaiah too. I mean as well. Isaiah 13, starting at 19. Now, after this nuclear hit, missiles hit, this is what's gonna happen. This is how the, this is how future America is gonna be, man. 
You ever seen the old uh, Planet of the Eight movies from the 70s? Go If you've never seen it, go look at it. Because that's a good depiction on how <laughs> America is going to soon look thereafter. This is Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the, beauties, the beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, so that's mentioned again, bro. Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah, that was, the Lord sent hellfire down on Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, but now it said, this is talking about Babylon. Babylon was, has, an old Babylon was never thrown down like this. Oh, Babylon was thrown by, by was taken over by the Persians and the Medes. All right, through the violence of war, was you know uh, ancient Babylon thrown down, not by hellfire. So the Lord ain't talking about old Babylon. So you got to be talking about new new uh virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon that's written that's written about in Isaiah forty seven chapter man. Let's continue. It shall never be inhabited. So after those nuclear missiles hit over here, it's never going to be inhabited again. Okay. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitches tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. And their houses shall be full of thoughtful creatures. This place is going to be utterly wasted. That place that used to be your house, that's going to be where there's a creature to dwell in. All right. A son of man, when it says a son of man, as a son of man is, you know, of course, a human. And no humans are going to live here in the land of America ever again. Period. Thus said the Lord. And owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant places. And it's talking about, you know, dragons such as lizards, okay? And in her time is near to come, and the time of the destruction of Babylon is not at hand, man. And for those ones that know the prophecies, all right. You can, you it's it's that's evident that, that we are, hey, we getting closer and closer to that time, man. And her days shall not be prolonged. And the end of Babylon is nigh at hand, man. Nigh at hand. And there's a precept I wanted to get, and I'm gonna get it too. Here's what it is that I want to get after I had got Jeremiah. 50th chapter because uh, why those um, give me one second just some water <clears throat> why those nuclear missiles are going to be get, being hit around the world in these countries man you'd ask you know, you'd ask me you know okay where are you going to be at where is one third of the nation of Israel going to be at like I read the first precept before I started the lesson, and hey, the so the Lord is going to save the, the, the elected nation Israel. They're going to beam us up up in those ships, man. That's how we're going to see the destruction of the wicked. This is Mark 13 and 27. And I'm going to start at 26. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory and then shall his he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost parts of heaven so around the world the lord is going to send his chariots out to gather together his one third of the nation of israel which is the elect up out of the places where these nuclear missiles is going to be shot off that's what it says up here in the 25th verse. And the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are, that are in the heavens shall be shaken. Those are the nuclear missiles hitting the earth, shaking the earth. Lord said the, the, the earth shall 
real to and fro like a drunkard, man. All those missiles hitting the earth in the, the presence of the chariots themselves is going to shake the earth, man. Okay? So with all that destruction going on, it's going to be salvation going on at the same time. Like it's also written in the scriptures, it's scarcely so right, uh, the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. <laughs> so it's going to look like, it's going to look bad for the, for, the, for the elected nation Israel for a second. But then the Lord is going to gather together his elect, man. Hey, man, we not going, we, hey, the, the, well, those plagues not going to come to us, man. Thus said the Lord. Let's get another precept I have right here. This is Psalms 91. Oh, let's lock in. Let's go ahead and skip to right there. And eight. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. All right? Only with iron eyes. So when we get beamed up in those chariots, all right, only with thine eyes shall we see the, the, the destruction of the wicked. Because we're going to be in those ships and we're going to be standing on that sea of glass. It was going to look like glass because it's going to be see-through. And we're going to see the destruction of, of the people on this earth that's going to be getting killed by, the, by nuclear fire, man, which is the second death. All right? It's no such thing as hell, man. Let's go ahead and put that vibration out, th out there. There's no such thing as hell. There's only the spiritual world, which is what the world calls heaven, man. All right? There's no such thing as hell. You already living in hell, bruh. Judgment takes place under the sun, thus said the scriptures. Not in some magical, mystical, burning place under the earth, you, for you stupid, simple people, man. When you die, you return to the Heavenly Father, man. Thus saith Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Let me get another precept. This is Revelations 11 verse 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them. That yeah, this goes directly in line with Mark 13 and 27. This is the Lord to, uh, saying the command. This is a, Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. Who is that them he's talking about? He's talking about the, the elect of the nation of Israel. And they ascended up to the, unto heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them, the enemies of the elect, man. The ones that didn't believe on the word of, the, of, of, his, of his men, man. All right? And the ones that the, the other nation of Israel that the Lord had going to have mercy on, man. Our enemies going to be held us when we get beamed up in those chariots, man. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man. Along with the rest of you bros pushing the truth and security, man, and all you sincere sisters out there. This is 13. In the same hour was a great earthquake. A great earthquake. So that's that. That's those nuclear missiles hitting. In the 10th part of the city fell. The city, that city is talked about the land of America. The 10th part part of it is talking about the, the 10 famous sections that is that is in America, man. You can look that up on Google. Uh, the 10 FEMA uh, sections in America. And the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. See? See, it's only 7,000. So what is talking? Yeah, hey, man. 7,000, that's just a number, man. That means completion. A complete number of the wicked were slain. Not everybody going to die by nuclear missiles because, you know, it has to be slaves when the Lord comes back down here. All right. The Lord is coming to enslave the heathen nations and to make his people, the nation of Israel, the top nation on earth. If you don't believe me, you go, it's like you go read a, a Revelation 19 chapter, man. The Lord has come back to enslave people. <laughs> okay. And the remnant were affrighted. Now, who's that remnant? It's talking about the elect. They were afraid of what they were seeing, man, and gave glory to the to, to the Most High of Heaven, man. They gave glory to Yahweh by Shemuel Shot, man. Why? Because they they didn't receive the death that these other people is gonna get, man. You see, you think you're gonna receive a nuclear missile, and you you just gonna pass away from from this, man. You think you're just gonna receive a nuclear missile, and your 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 spirit and your body just gonna fly up to the Heavenly Father? No, man. Heavenly Father gonna keep that spirit in that body 
until that body gets burnt inside and out. All right. And then whenever the Lord feels like it, he going to let your spirit come up. All right. You going to you going to you going to feel every last bit of that heat, man. And I put emphasis on heat cuz that shit hot. You know, if you don't believe me, you know, look up look up the degrees of a of a nuclear missile. Hey, you can't even stand by you can't even stand, you know, when grease pop on you from the stove, man. So how much more a nuclear missile? The second woe is passed. Oh, what's that? You know, what's the second woe? Well, the word woe means destruction. All right. The second war, the second woe, the second war, the second world war is passed. But behold, the third woe, the third war, the third world war cometh quickly. Hey, man. You can't say nothing against these scriptures, man. Before the scriptures. It's all true, man. There's no lies within it. Revelations. Let's get to my next precept. And I'm ended out on this one. This is Revelations. Looks like it. Ah. Um, 18. Starting at... Hmm. I'm going to start at 16. Revelations 18 and 16. And saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon. It was talking about Babylon. And that was clothed with fine linen and purple and scarlet and death with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. All right. So the way America built itself up in a, of, through hundreds of years. You know, of laboring of the Israelites, man, on the back of the Israelites for in one hour, for in one hour, so great riches is come to naught through the way of nuclear missile, nuclear destruction, a nuclear holocaust. So great riches is come to naught, okay? And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors is as many as trade by sea stood afar off. So when it was talking about, in, that's what it was talking about in Jeremiah 50th chapter, man, okay? The nation stood afar off and saw Babylon burning, man. Why? And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? All right. Why? Because all of what they were receiving from Babylon, man. Babylon is the biggest consumer nation on the planet Earth. These other nations were making hella money off Babylon, man. Okay? But soon all those great riches are going to come to naught. And they cast, and they cast dust on their heads, you know. They was they was mourning, okay, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, "Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea, by reason of her costliness, for in one hour, hour is she made desolate, man, and we can't fucking wait for this day, man. <laughs> we can't wait till we see this bitch burn, man." This shit is vexing, bro. Rejoice. Oh, hey, this is what the this is what you how about Shimmy how Shai told his prophets, man. I'ma say this loud. Rejoice over her. Thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, man. The men of the real men of the Lord, man. Rejoice over her, man. Why? For the most high, you how about Shimmy how Shai have avenged you on her. Alright? All the shit we went through in this place, man. Slavery we went through in this place. All that shit rolled in one. Hey, how about Shim Howard Shai is going to pay this bitch back times a million, man? Okay? Soon, bros, we finna get the fuck up out of here, bro. So why not keep the faith, man? Hey, I know it ain't nothing. I know I speak for all the bros, man. That's real about this thing. Hey, we don't want to be in this motherfucker for too much longer, man. So why not keep the faith, you know, until the end, man? And to death, man. Okay? Fuck it, bro. So, bros, man, let's hey, keep this faith, man. Bob shot, bro. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, definitely talking to myself as well, man. So we can get the fuck up out of this place, bro. Hey, you how about you, me? How shot, Bob shot, Bob shot, Bob shot, man. A bob a ball, a bob a ball, a bob a ball, man. 
with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Double honor to my elder apostles, great millstone, rule well and teach well. So I take the rest of you brothers, pushing this truth, and see the risk in life, do so in spirit, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. On to the next one. Ba-ba-ba.